So I was videotaping and uh, the video just shuts down on me. Keeps insisting I don't have Wi-Fi. Why do I need Wi-Fi to take a video? I don't know. But uh, let me disconnect this from the house Wi-Fi and put it on the Wi-Fi they have on the phone and maybe it'll stop bothering me. So we're back again and uh, let's see if we can I only get 15 minutes worth of videotaping to post on YouTube. Uh, don't want to bore you with this long walk, but uh, I'm just kind of practicing here. And uh, I can do a little editing on this and see if I can shorten it down and maybe even connect it to the video I'm going to take of the wet market we're going to which is uh, an exceptional place and uh, of course there's little temples I don't know if you can see behind the car there the to Buddha and the washing machines are out in front of the buildings not all of them but uh, nice quiet morning what time is it? I have no idea but uh, I went to bed about 4 o'clock working on my YouTube channel and I got up about 8, 9 and uh, here we are, taking care of some business before it gets too hot. And uh, we're rolling right along. Come and help me lift this big old bag. Yeah, I would need some help too, about 50 pounds. But you see how helpful, right? Just pick somebody off the street, hey, help me out. No problem. These little carts are all over the place. You can see, all about shopping. All about shopping. I got my bald head. I just love cooking my brain. I don't bother to put a hat on or an umbrella. I don't know. Maybe that's why. I'm a little crazy. Some people might say I'm a lot crazy, but that's all right, I love it. Being crazy sometimes in a crazy world is really good. All right, we got a little more traffic here. You can see there are no sidewalks. Those uh, the businesses come right out. Sometimes the businesses will rent out the section of sidewalk out in front of their businesses. Even the 7-Elevens do it. Everybody does it. So you got to be real careful and uh, be aware. Go us another 7-Eleven. And uh, you can see the businesses come right out onto the sidewalk. So everybody got to walk in the street. And uh, if you love 7-Elevens, you love Bangkok, Thailand. But sometimes there's three of them on one block. Yes, it's been right next door to each other. Well, I guess my phone is happy that I connected it to the internet because it's not harassing me anymore. That's what I need right there, fitness 24-7. Yeah, definitely could use that. But uh, there'll be plenty of walking. The farm is quite a distance from the main house. So that's uh, quite a walk just to get to that. And... Uh, There'll be plenty of digging and painting and modernizing and upgrading and all kinds of good stuff. Mama wants kitchen cabinets. And uh, we have a modern bathroom. Floor tile. There's a modern house, cement block. Uh, the second house on the property. More original guy. My brother lives in that one. The bathroom is outside of the house. And uh, Mama wants to tear that down and build a nicer house. There's an entrance to a resort. Nice brisk little walk. I'm doing all right. Traffic will pick up as we get closer to the wet market. That's going to be an experience. We've been there before. It's unbelievable. 
In fact, if you watch my uh, parade of the little rugrats going down the street, you got a taste of the wet market, the outside area, at the beginning of that video. We're gonna take the inside this time. And uh, that'll give you the really good flavor of what Thailand is all about. Fresh food, meats, seafood, vegetables, fruits, really outstanding quality, all fresh and organic. The food here in Thailand tastes nothing like the food back in the United States. No additives, no preservatives. Everything's extremely fresh and healthy. A little more than halfway there. Got a little repair shop going on here. Everybody's busy, busy. Only, only way to get around in Thailand, well, especially in Bangkok, is by scooter. Unless you like spending a lot of time going five miles an hour on the main roads, because it's exceptionally crowded. Makes New York City, Manhattan traffic look like child's play. I thought I was a really good driver been driving professionally trucks buses tractor trailers everything taxi cab in manhattan a lot of driving but uh i wouldn't even attempt to drive here in bangkok of course here we are these small little temples the buddha are everywhere every house has one mama has a special little buddha room and i'm uh, gonna be real careful crossing here mama left me behind but now I'm stuck without her guidance. She's waiting under the tree for me. Love my mama. She's always waiting for me. Always looking out for me. But, uh, so this is the first time I attempt to do videos. Oh, good, good, uh, ready to eat mangoes with sticky rice. That's one of the main reasons we came out today to get some sweet mangoes with sticky rice. And uh, she found the place, and there we go. So that's our first stop, buying mangoes and sticky rice with coconut juice. If you've never tried it, wow, unbelievable, unbelievable stuff. Yeah, so she's gonna get about uh, four of those, I guess. Yeah, I think you get about four for three dollars, which is really cheap. And uh, here's traffic, not too bad yet. We won't be going out to, we got one little main road, small little main road up ahead here. Just before we get to the wet market. But, uh, it's all about scooters out here, man. And, uh, Mama has a car, but we don't really drive that too much. We only drive that, uh, when we go into special places, like to the government buildings where they have parking. Take care of my visa work things like that but for the most part we take uh, subways buses excellent subway and bus system here in Thailand and they're operating it we're ready to go with our uh, mango sticky rice and coconut juice can't wait I think my stomach got a slight problem with the sticky rice but uh, I got a slight problem with eggs and I still eat them sometimes you uh, you will deal with a little upset stomach when his food is so good. But, uh, I'm starting to get used to this Thai food. Don't get as sick as much as I used to. Oh Lord, here we go. We gotta be quick. And uh, traffic's on the opposite side of the street. So you gotta make sure you're looking the right way. All right, so we got a main street coming up ahead here. And then, uh, we go through a little shopping, outdoor shopping mall type of deal. I mean, everywhere you go in Thailand is shopping mall type of deal, but this one's a little side street. And, uh, for some reason, these people like here love, love these phone covers. They're all over the place. These are all private little buildings, little, little businesses, all right next door to each other, all selling the same thing. I can't get over it. This is what they do. Must be making money. 
Because as you see, there's a whole lot of them. <laughs> Phone cases. So, there's the bus, so that's the main street. And uh, of course, at night, this place be bumper to bumper cars, bumper to bumper people. As you can see, a lot of the businesses ain't even open. They open up in the evening, mostly when people get out of work. Okay, there's the main street. Got a bus, there's another main street over there. And uh, looks not enough to get killed. Not a tut 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 touch, whatever they call them. You know, those are taxis right there, the guys with the yellow, orange. Those are taxi cab drivers and tut tut drivers. And we got pink taxi cabs and blue taxi cabs and green taxi cabs and uh, regular yellow. And here's a little area, little side street here with all kinds of businesses. Oh, I'm surprised. We must be running a little late. A lot of them are open. Not much business yet, like I said. Business picks up later in the evening. By our house, we have a night market which also has an adult nightclub and bar section to the night market which is a little like what you're seeing here and uh, it is really cool and we will be doing video on that night market before we leave Bangkok so as you can see my breathing is getting a little heavy but uh, I had a major surgery on my heart before I left the States had a 100% clog very hard clog on one of the veins going into my heart between my leg and my heart and uh, supposed to be a student doing surgery the teacher ended up doing the surgery he said it was the biggest and hardest clog he had ever done I told him do whatever you gotta do to get the job done working through my leg I don't wanna have my chest opened up. And that's exactly what he did. He ripped my leg up and uh, we had to go to surgery the next day to fix the blowout on my leg. But uh, they didn't open my chest up. And uh, the specialist told me I was broken. They fixed me and I'm good to go. So here I am in Thailand, getting ready to go. Take care of business. And uh, give this heart a run for its money in my latter years I'm still holding up pretty good we're a 68 year old soon to be 69 year old man and uh, keeping up with my young not so young but younger than me my wife and she is